Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of The Fishing Teacher and much appreciate you guys uh, making some time to check today's video out. We are gonna be talking about the Zoom Brush Hog today. I'm gonna give you guys some tips and advice. This is one of the greatest all-time bass catchers ever invented and uh, I've been using them for many, many years. I'm gonna give you guys sort of a little tutorial on, on how to fish them because uh, brush hog season is coming up, rapidly approaching us right now. So if you guys are, have never seen it, this is the Zoom Brush Hog. Um, this is what is called a creature bait, if you're not familiar with it. It's a bait that usually has some appendages on it, curly tails, and you can see here the brush hog. It's sort of got like some wings on it here. It's got flappers on the side, and then it's got two curly legs on it like this. So uh, this bait right here, it looks really good in the water. It's like when you reel it through the water, you know, these, t these tails are flapping like here. Um, it's got a pretty, uh, it's, it's, sort of, it's sort of got like a, uh, a good combination of some bulk, yet some a slim line profile on it. And for whatever reason, guys, this is one of the most fish catching, you know, soft plastic lures ever invented. There's, I'm going to venture, there's probably been as many bass caught on a brush hog over the past 25 years than about any soft plastic out, any soft plastic bait out there with the exception of the soft plastic stick baits. So this is a pretty versatile bait as far as, you know, what you can do with it. Um, obviously, the best situation for it is rigging on a Texas rig. I usually rig it on anything from a 3 16s to maybe a 5 8 ounce slip sinker, straight shank hook. Um, this is the baby rush hog right here. They make three different sizes. They got a mid size and a large size. Uh, but this really just depends on, you know, lake you're fishing and <clears throat> time of the year on the size. So Texas rigging is the first way you want to fish it. The second way, guys, this is really good on a Carolina rig setup. Now, I know we haven't covered a Carolina rig on the channel yet, but basically we're going to. Basically what it is, it's where you have your line, your weight, instead of Texas rig and pegged against the sinker, the, the head of the worm, your weight is fixed stationary above the hook. So the bait floats up off the bottom and the weight stays on the bottom. So this bait is really good as a Carolina rig. And also a lot of people use it as a football head jig trailer, just threading it on there and the legs provide a lot of action with that. But most of the time, guys, when I'm fishing a brush hog, I'm pitching it and flipping it around some type of cover. That cover could be anything. It could be docks, it could be grass beds, lay down trees, flooded bushes, any of that type of stuff. It's one of the, the greatest flipping baits ever made because it comes through the cover pretty good simply because there's not much to hang up on it on there. Um, and the, the curly tails provide a lot of action and you got a lot of, a lot of bulk with it. So uh, colors, again, just depend on the water clarity. Uh, most of the time, I like some type of a watermelon or a green pumpkin, unless the water is really dirty. The water visibility is say less than, you know, 15 inches, maybe 12 to 15 inches or less. I may use a black or a June bug or something like that, but I prefer the more natural colors and I usually dip the tails with some chartreuse or orange dye on there. So anyway, guys, just an awesome bait. If you guys haven't tried them, get you some. I'll put the bait works link in the description. You guys can get them there. And um, it's one of my favorite creatures bait. I got I got tons of them and I use them a lot, really from about now until all the way through next fall. So hope you guys liked it. We'll talk later.